Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on group in algebraic structure in discrete mathematics. Group is one of the algebraic structure that is used in discrete mathematics. First of all, what is a group? Suppose, let us take capital S be a non-empty set and plus be a addition operation can be performed on the set S. Then the algebraic system S, plus is called a group if and only if it satisfies four properties. One is closure property, second one is associative property, third one is identity property and fourth one is inverse property. Any algebraic system satisfies these four properties, then that algebraic system is called a group. Okay. So, let S be a non-empty set and plus be a binary addition operation performed on the non-empty set, yes. Then the algebraic system S comma plus is called a group if and only if it satisfies the following properties. First one is closure property. What is closure property? We can take any two elements from the set capital S. Then A plus B also belongs to capital S. So for any two elements A comma B. So A comma B belongs to S such that A plus B is also belongs to S. Okay. For example, so A value is equal to 2, B value is equal to 3. Okay. So S contains 1 to infinity, for example. Okay. S is equal to, for example, 0 to infinity. So A is equal to 2. 2 belongs to S. B is equal to 3. 3 is also there in S because S contains the elements from 0 to infinity. So then A plus B. So A plus B is nothing but 2 plus 3 is also belongs to S. 2 plus 3 is nothing but 5. 5 belongs to S. So 2 is also there in S. 3 is also there in S. We have to perform the addition operation A plus B. Here A value 2, B value 3. 2 plus 3 that is 5. 5 is also there in S. Because S contains the elements from 0 to infinity. So that, so this algebraic system satisfies the closure property. Okay. Next, we can go to the associative property. So, we can take three elements. So, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4. So, A, B, C are the elements of S. So, then A comma B comma C belongs to S such that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Whenever this property is satisfied, so whenever this condition is satisfied, then this algebraic system satisfies the associative property. Here A value is 2 plus B value is 3 and C value is 4 is equal to, so 2 plus 3 plus 4. So, what is the result? 3 plus 4, that is 7. 7 plus 2, that is 9. Left hand side result is 9. Right hand side result, 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 4, that is 9. So, 9 is equal to 9. So, condition is satisfied. Then, the algebraic system satisfies the associative property. Next one. Third property, identity element. Okay. So, suppose... We can take an element A. Okay. 
so a is taken from the set s so that it can be represented as a belongs to s we can take another distinguished element that is e this element e is also taken from the set s so therefore e belongs to s such that a plus e is equal to e plus a is equal to a okay so where e is called the identity element with respect to the addition operation so that is so suppose a value is equal to a value can be taken from 0 to infinity so a is equal to 2 a is equal to 2 so here what is the identity element for addition operation that is e value is equal to 0 so therefore a plus e is equal to e plus a is equal to a a value is 2 2 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 okay here identity element for addition operation is 0 so 2 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 so whenever this condition is satisfied then the algebraic system satisfies the identity element property okay next fourth one is inverse property okay so here s is a non empty set whatever i am telling in the beginning s is a non empty set so we can take one element a so a belongs to s we can take another element that is a inverse a inverse is also belongs to s so we can take two elements one element is a and another element is its inverse that is a inverse is also belongs to s so then a plus a inverse is equal to a inverse plus a is equal to e so e is nothing but identity element okay suppose a value can be taken as 2 a is equal to 2 okay what is a inverse a inverse is nothing but a inverse is equal to minus 2 okay so here a is equal to 2 is nothing but positive 2 that is plus 2 a inverse is nothing but so minus 2 a inverse is nothing but minus 2 so a plus a inverse that is a value is 2 plus a inverse value is minus 2 2 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 is equal to e e is nothing but identity element with respect to the operation plus so that is equal to 0 okay a plus a inverse is equal to a inverse plus a is equal to e e is nothing but identity element here what is the operation we have to perform addition operation identity element with respect to the addition operation is 0 so therefore 2 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 is equal to e. e value is equal to 0. So, e is the identity element. Suppose here the operation is multiplication, then the identity element is e value is equal to 1. Okay. So, these are the four properties. Closure property, associative property, identity element property, inverse property. Whenever the algebraic system satisfies these four properties, then the algebraic system is called a group. Okay. Example, i comma plus is a group. i is nothing but <coughs> set of integers. Set of integers is nothing but it contains negative values, zero and positive values. Negative values is minus infinity to minus one and zero and 1 to infinity. 1 to infinity is positive numbers. Minus infinity 2 to minus 1 is negative numbers. And 0. Okay. So both positive elements are there. And the negative elements are there. And 0 element is also there. So because of that reason. I comma plus is a group. Okay. 
where i is the set of integers so i is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity including a zero okay so we can take any two elements from i and check whether the whether it is satisfies the closure property or not and we can take any three elements from the set i and check this condition is satisfied or not okay we can take any element one element from i and take the identity element so a plus e is equal to e plus e a is equal to a here the operation is addition operation identity element is equal to zero next we can take one element from the set i it invert we can take and its inverse so inverse is nothing but minus a minus a is also belongs to i i value is equal to 2 its inverse is minus 2 so 2 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 is equal to identity element identity element value is 0 so addition uh, identity element for addition operation is 0 identity element for multiplication operation is a 1 okay whenever the algebraic system satisfies these four properties then it is called as that algebraic system is called a group example i comma plus is a group whenever the algebraic system is a group it is also a monoid it is also a semi group okay so this is the introduction of group a algebraic structure thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates and please subscribe my channel name so develop srinivasarao